Good day everyone, again this is Jobin Basilisco and today we will tackle about the factors contributing to multi-grade teaching, multi-age and multi-level classroom. The scenario is not present in our community, we only have a monograde teaching. The factors why multi-grade exist are geographical factors, political factors, cultural factors, and socioeconomic factors. Mrs. Jones was benefited all her duties because it was all rewarded. If I were Mrs. Jones, I will manage my time properly so that I able to enjoy teaching despite the many responsibilities I have. The factor that contributes the existence of multi-grade school in our area is cultural factor. Students are part of the community economy and as a result, they have to perform certain chores like agricultural and handicraft skills before they go to school and girls would not normally be afforded the opportunity to go to school since they have to be prepared to become in homemakers the benefit of a teacher in multi multi-grade teaching are know their learners better become an effective teacher greater understanding between teachers and learners and greater community involvement while in learners Learners become more stable emotionally, appear to do better than learners in a single grade classroom, become independent learners, build a supportive relationship and promotion of learners' social skills. Among the three cases, they have shown poverty of a certain village as schools has no water, electricity, and other things. The building is leaking on the roof and crack walls. Each school has an average of two to three teachers who are handling three to four grade level. Each teacher has been equipped with experience in handling multi-grade regardless of inadequacy. And though they experience excessive workloads, they are able to handle their job well and still they enjoy it. Differences among the three case studies are the two of them are very poor communities which cannot afford another building and teacher while the remaining ones state that their community is very active with regards to its parent association who is raising fund money for another classroom. Because of the distance away from the villages, parents wish to send their children to schools of their own religion. The people are nomadic, results to the population is small, and there are rivers, roads, and mountains which are da dangerous for children to cross and so it is necessary for them to attend school in the village. Miss Garote lives in Alegria Cebu and was assigned in a remote area to teach. She was handling a multi-grade teaching. It was her first time to be at a remote area where no electricity, no water supply, telephone, nor toilet. The school is about one hour ride or two hours and 30 minutes to walk away from the nearest village. She was handling grade one, two and three. Sometimes she fetched water four kilometers away from the school to drink and for the plants. The school has a small garden, a playground, but sport, no sports fields. The room has its leaking roof and crack walls. The Baranga authorities wants to donate a land to build a new building, but because of family matters, it was denied. Richer learning environment. Learners appear to do better than learners in a single grade classroom. They know what they are expected to do. They learn how to help one another even at an early age. They become an independent learner. The barriers of this are those learners not willing to cooperate with each other. To be more effective in teaching multi-grade, I need to manifest the skills of 21st century. To be motivated and have a passion and dedication in teaching, I need to be serious at my commitment. I need to be innovative and flexible all the time. The factors that contribute the establishment of multi-grade teaching are geographical factors, that is, inaccessible areas re resulting in small and moving population. Second, political factor, inaccessibility of schools that lie near the borders. Next, cultural factors, different values, practices, and tradition among cultural groups. And last, the socioeconomic factor, the cost of paying teachers, 
the lack of resources in remote area, and the number of teachers available in the country. The benefits of multi-grade teaching are social benefits. These are learners learn certain things better from their peers just as they would from siblings. Richer learning environment. Learners become independent learners. They know what they are expected to do. Greater understanding between educators and learners. Teachers know their learners better because they are with them more than one year. Greater community involvement. The educator can ask parents to indicate what skills or knowledge they can share with the class. Parents may share their skills like cooking, sewing, cultural dance, and arts. Next is development of healthy competition. The learners see what is taking place at every level and this may lead, lead to self-motivation to finish their grade and move on to the next level. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.